Allergic rhinitis is inflammation of the inside of the nose caused by an allergen, such as pollen, dust, mold or flakes of skin from certain animals. It's a very common condition, estimated to affect around one in every five people in the UK. Symptoms of allergic rhinitis. Allergic rhinitis typically causes cold-like symptoms, such as sneezing, itchiness and a blocked or runny nose. These symptoms usually start soon after being exposed to an allergen. Some people only get allergic rhinitis for a few months at a time because they're sensitive to seasonal allergens, such as tree or grass pollen. Other people get allergic rhinitis all year round. Most people with allergic rhinitis have mild symptoms that can be easily and effectively treated. But for some people symptoms can be severe and persistent, causing sleep problems and interfering with everyday life. The symptoms of allergic rhinitis occasionally improve with time, but this can take many years and it's unlikely that the condition will disappear completely. What causes allergic rhinitis? Allergic rhinitis is caused by the immune system reacting to an allergen as if it were harmful. This results in cells releasing a number of chemicals that cause the inside layer of your nose, the mucous membrane, to become swollen and too much mucus to be produced. Common allergens that cause allergic rhinitis include pollen, this type of allergic rhinitis is known as hay fever, as well as mold spores, house dust mites, and flakes of skin or droplets of urine or saliva from certain animals. Treatment for allergic rhinitis depends on how severe your symptoms are and how much they are affecting your everyday activities. In most cases treatment aims to relieve symptoms, such as sneezing and a blocked or runny nose. If you have mild allergic rhinitis, you can often treat the symptoms yourself. You should visit your GP if your symptoms are more severe and affecting your quality of life, or if self-help measures have not worked. Self-help. It's possible to treat the symptoms of mild allergic rhinitis with medicines you buy from a pharmacy or shop, such as long-acting non-sedating antihistamines. If possible, try to reduce exposure to the allergen that triggers the condition. Find out more about preventing allergic rhinitis. Cleaning your nasal passages. Regularly cleaning your nasal passages with a salt water solution, known as nasal douching or irrigation, can also help by keeping your nose free of irritants. You can do this by using a solution made with sachets bought from a pharmacy. Small syringes or pots that often look like small horns or teapots are also available to help flush the solution around the inside of your nose. To rinse your nose. Stand over a sink, cup the palm of one hand and pour a small amount of the solution into it. Sniff the water into one nostril at a time. Repeat this until your nose feels comfortable, you may not need to use all of the solution. While you do this, some solution may pass into your throat through the back of your nose. The solution is harmless if swallowed, but try to spit out as much of it as possible. Nasal irrigation can be carried out as often as necessary, but a fresh solution should be made each time. Medication. Medication will not cure your allergy, but it can be used to treat the common symptoms. If your symptoms are caused by seasonal allergens, such as pollen, you should be able to stop taking your medication after the risk of exposure has passed. Visit your GP if your symptoms do not respond to medication after two weeks. Antihistamines. Antihistamines relieve symptoms of allergic rhinitis by blocking the action of a chemical called histamine, which the body releases when it thinks it's under attack from an allergen. You can buy antihistamine tablets from your pharmacist without a prescription, but antihistamine nasal sprays are only available with a prescription. Antihistamines can sometimes cause drowsiness. If you're taking them for the first time, see how you react to them before driving or operating heavy machinery. In particular, antihistamines can cause drowsiness if you drink alcohol while taking them. Corticosteroids. If you have frequent or persistent symptoms and you have a nasal blockage or nasal polyps, your GP may recommend a nasal spray or drops containing corticosteroids. Corticosteroids help reduce inflammation and swelling. They take longer to work than antihistamines, but their effects last longer. Side effects from inhaled corticosteroids are rare, but can include nasal dryness, irritation and nosebleeds. If you have a particularly severe bout of symptoms and need rapid relief, your GP may prescribe a short course of corticosteroid tablets lasting 5 to 10.